Okay, uh, insurance or put options. Uh, I'm going to quickly do it because probably you're more interested how to make money rather than to insure it. You will learn it as well. But in reality, put options, what they do, if you bought the share for $10, as an example, then you have bought a right, a put option, okay, for one year, and we'll take the strike price 15. So even the share price is 10, we buy at the highest strike price. At this particular example, you can buy, choose any strike, and pay for it $5.5. Okay? Now you pay $5.5 for the right to sell your shares at $15 at any time, and we look at one year. All right? Now, if you, you're insured now, okay? And if your share drop down in price during this year, you would be able to sell it at a fixed price of $15. Now, your investment, total investment, what? $10? 5.5? In total, 15.5? But you can sell at 15, what's your risk? 50 cents per share. 50 cents per share. Now, you have to understand that here, you're not getting profit on the growth. Yeah. You kind of hedge. It doesn't really matter which way to go. And the only moment where you can make money here is what? By selling cover call. Yeah. Okay, so now you you need to cover the 50 cents and then you collect money. Okay, so and you know how to properly do it. So just show you this example. Uh, Dell. $70. Now, without insurance and with insurance. So if you paid $70,000, Okay, your risk is what? Seventy thousand yeah. dollars. Now, in this particular case, uh, we look at insurance for five hundred and forty-four days. So, how long is that? About one and a half years. Year. Okay. So, some companies you can rent up to two years. Now, we pay additional eight point five. 8.45 cents here, yeah, so it's 8,450 for 1,000. So in total, we pay $25,490. But we can sell it at any time with a strike price 25. So what's our risk? $490. Okay, then the share can go up and down, it, like you don't make money anyway. So unless you start trading. And that's trend, same price, same day, but the only difference we're looking at, at next month. And that's 24 days only. That's the amount of days which left. And that's all the strike prices you can choose. You can choose whatever you like, okay? And let's have a look what happens. We're choosing $70 strike price. Okay, when you're choosing the strike price, you'll have to look at technicals here, okay, in order to do that. And that's what you're getting, 43, 63 cents. So if you multiply by 1,000 shares, how much you get? $630, it's cash, it, that's what you get. That's exactly what we've done with BlackBerry. It's all the same. Now, if the share price like grows above 17, what happens? Your shares will be taken from you, mm -hmm. okay? Now, your profit will be 70,000 plus 630, which you collected, minus whatever you invested. That's the amount, $590. So if you take 590s, I'm not taking into account the cost of put right now, okay? Just taking that 590, so altogether you made 3.4%. Okay. Now you can rent puts as well, but I'm not going to into that detail as well now. And so, did you cover your cost of 490 dollars? Yeah. Who knows just what happened here? The shares are gone. Yeah. Remember, the put option is separate contract. If you still own it, so you just wait until the share price dips down, you buy it back again. So and it's ready to give for you. So the next one is uh, if the share price stays below 17, so you just keep the money, 630, so you're at the game. Okay, that's what we bought. So $140 here, and you pay the insurance, and after that you keep doing it month after month after month after month. Okay, again, you have to choose the correct strike price, correct duration, correct timing, how to do it. It's not straightforward like that, but that's how we do it.